Hey guys, before we get into today's video, first I want to give a big thanks to our sponsors at KOG Games and point you towards the launch of their brand new game, Kurtzpel. Kurtzpel is an anime styled action multiplayer game that combines both PvE and PvP aspects. From the hub area you can embark on big quests that see you take down massive boss monsters, so you can take part in a wide array of 2v2 PvP modes via a matchmaking system. One thing that really stands out about the game is the graphics and overall visual presentation. The character the creation feature is also very in-depth and the battle system is fluid and fun. The game is available via Steam and is fully free to play, so consider checking out the link in the description to give it a look for yourself. May 9th has recently passed and this marks a big day over in Japan, as every May 9th in the country is celebrated as being Goku Day. Goku being the star character in the popular Japanese franchise Dragon Ball. The reason why May 9th is celebrated as Goku Day though has nothing to do with it being the franchise's anniversary or anything or even anything to do with what happens in the franchise itself. Instead, this is the result of an interesting Japanese phenomenon where numbers in Japan are pretty different than over in the West. You see, the way numbers are said in Japanese give way to combine different numbers together and then creates lots of different types of words. The numbers 5 and 9, for example, are said in Japanese as Go and then Ku. Add them together and you have Goku, which is where May, which is the fifth month of the year, and then the ninth comes from to signify that the day should be celebrated celebrated as Goku Day. In fact, the Japanese language is even more interesting, as each number in Japan has many different ways to say each of them, depending on whether you are using the onyomi, aka sound-based readings, or the konyomi, aka meaning-based readings. Even within each reading classification, however, there are multiple different ways to say each number, and that's not even getting into things like using the English-based readings. So due to this phenomenon, you can find lots of different cases of Japanese wordplay and puns revolving around numbers in the country. May 9th has even been officially recognised in Japan by the Japanese Anniversary Association. Thus, on this day you will be able to find all sorts of special Dragon Ball themed things going on to celebrate Goku and the rest of the franchise. And if you checked on the news, you'd be able to see lots of different Dragon Ball headlines on this day. For instance, this May 9th, the Bandai Namco YouTube channel uploaded a special montage trailer featuring different instances of Goku from the video game Dragon Ball Fighter Z. And there's also been a big official giveaway on May 9th where people can win all sorts of Dragon Ball prizes for entering. Funnily enough though, May 9th is not only celebrated as Goku Day over in Japan, but it also shares this same day as Ice Cream Day. It is said that the first ever ice cream was sold in Japan 150 years ago on May 9th 1869 and it cost a whopping $80 for a single serving. A Japanese blogger wrote about Ice Cream Day over on their website and showed people how on the day many different types of flavours are sold and at a reduced price of only 100 yen compared to the regular 360 yen. The blogger also noted how places are also celebrating Goku Day, and then also made a mention about another Dragon Ball character, Piccolo, as well. Why did he mention Piccolo? Well, in the events of the Dragon Ball manga and TV show, Piccolo declares May 9th as his own personal day, in honour of him declaring his rule over Earth. Due to this, you'll be able to find various arguments between Dragon Ball fans over whether today is really Goku Day or Piccolo Day instead. So perhaps keep all of this in mind whenever May 9th rolls around and how some of the ways the day is viewed over in Japan. But like mentioned, you can find lots of other puns and wordplay over in Japan based on numbers. One interesting one is 29, or in Japanese, Ni Ku. Ni is one of the ways to say 2, and Ku is 9. Add them together and you have Niku, which is the Japanese word for meat. Due to this, lots of food places actually have special offers on the 29th of each month due to the clever wordplay. Some more are 39, which can be read as San and Q. You, aka thank you, the English reading for thank you. 893, which can be read as ya. Kuza, the name of the famous Japanese crime organization, and also leads to the number being seen as rather unlucky in the country. And then 26, which can be read as Furo if one to shorten the readings a little. Furo means bath, and like the food places on the 29th of each month, public baths in Japan tend to have a reduced entrance fee every month on the 26th. And then you can even include decimal numbers, with something like 0.4 being read as ten and chi, which when said together as tenshi means angel. There 
there are loads more of this type of language wordplay in Japan, and so it is a quite interesting aspect of the Japanese language. What do you think about the way numbers can represent words over in Japan, and are you aware of any others? As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and a big thanks again to Kurzpel for sponsoring today's video. If you want to support what the channel is doing, then checking out the link in the description will really help the channel get bigger and better, and it of course may be something you may just be interested in checking out anyway, due to it being a cool anime style game. As always guys, until next time, thank you for watching.